Right then, so next game is an easy one. I should be pretty good at this, so let's go attacking, surely. Two attackers, wingers are in there, full backs, no chance, wing back support, wing back support, defenders, happy with that. Ooh, Mazala, deep line playmaker, advanced playmaker, wingers, nice, deep line forward, I don't think so. We're going to go with a pressing forward and absolutely destroy this opposition. Mentality. Attacking, obviously, in possession. We've got some decent wing backs, so let's overlap it on the left and right. Work ball into box. Uh, short passing, I think we can handle that. Tempo, fast football, that's what I like to see. Right, counter them. We'll counter press them. Uh, distribute quickly. No, we don't need that. We'll uh, distribute to the back line, though, from the goalkeeper. And then out of possession, let's play high up because, well, we should be better than them, so we should win. Uh, get stuck in. Prevent short goalkeeper distribution. And let's go intensity. Let's try out this tactic, and I'm sure we're going to win. Oh, you what? Right, scratch that. It didn't work. So, Liverpool is the next game. Got to be defensive. Got to be defensive. Cautious. So, let's get three at the back then. If we can draw this game, I'm going to class that as a win. Get some points at Anfield is always a good thing. Let's just make sure we have one striker up front just in case we can. To mentality, obviously cautious in possession. Let's not try too much now. So tempo will go a little bit slower. And just in case we can catch him on the break, we'll go more direct with the passing work ball into box. I don't think so. Let's hit early crosses. Want to keep the, uh, the left and right back. Uh, back for the defence, pass into space and play for set pieces. Run at defence, I don't think I can do that against Liverpool. Uh, in transition, let's uh, let's not counter them. We'll uh, hold our shape, try to get the draw. And then out of possession, let's drop this line back a little bit so we can uh, crowd the midfield. Then extreme urgent pressing intensity. They're probably going to pass around me if I do that. So I'll just go to standard, see if I can use the offside trap. You never know. And let's see how this tactic goes. Don't delete the game, guys. All right? It might not have worked for you this time, but if you can't create tactics and you're not the type of person to download either, all right, there's nothing wrong with downloading, but if you don't want to, there are preset tactics in the game that you can use and that we are going to test. All right? So we are currently West Ham. We wanted a bog standard middle team to test out these uh, to test out these preset tactics, basically. See how good they are. And hopefully they may improve your game if you decide to adapt them. So once you start it, you'll come onto this screen, all right? And we all know as soon as we click on tactics, boom, we are here. Well, these are the presets all from control possession, tick attacker, vertical tick attacker, route one, fluid attack, and so on and so forth. So let's get one started, all right? So you just click control possession and it'll bring you onto this screen here where it will give you a little bit of information about the tactic itself and the style of play it is. Control possession, it focuses on retaining possession and pressing hard to win the ball back. You go to Gagan Press. Gagan Press relies on every player in the team working hard, being fit and mobile enough to press the opposition immediately after losing the ball. Ticky Tacker, so on. Mentality in possession. So let's go Ticky Tacker. Choose formation. Now we have tested every single style and every single one of these formations, just these three. And we're going to basically get a graph going for you to show which ones are the best ones. We've picked the best shape from the best style of every test all right so there's literally 30 tests went on with west ham to do this and um, then it will just give you a 433 wide confirm and that is the tactic now this is probably a really good way to learn how to tweak at first uh, if you find a tactical style and a shape that you like that will fit your club over time you'll understand certain positions and you think i don't really like my player doing that this winger is better going on the inside because I want him to attack. 
inside forward attack you just learn as you go if you're not as confident at creating a tactic i wasn't or I'm, I'm still not fully confident at creating tactics but i do a lot of tests so i do understand a little bit of what positions can work what doesn't work and i think it's the uh, the gagan press but this is what we are here to find out so let's do all of the tests we'll go to the ends of the season and i'll pull up the graph for you all to have a look at stay tuned right then welcome back everybody so as you can see behind me it is all blurred out because that is the best tactic out of all of the styles that we tested don't forget there was 30 30 tests this took ages to prepare <laughs> <laughs> um, but we are going to bring up the graph now so you can see all of the styles and the best shapes for those styles out of all of the tests uh, and we can have a look at all of the scores the positions the goals for the goals against see if they want any cups uh, and yeah so let's bring up the graph now and have a look at it then shall we so here we are right then so first you may notice that there are three big red lines going across three styles the control possession the catenaccio and the park the bus now this means that all three shapes of the style got me sacked with west ham now i understand that you will not use park the bus style in every single game you will not use control possession every single game you use common sense you man manage each game as it comes and it'll be a lot better we all understand that but for the sake of this video we did all the testing for the whole season for each style every game all right so uh, yes control possession catenaccio and part of the boss got sacked so we're not going to go into them too much so we'll focus on all of the other tactics and here we are with the gagan press the tick attacker the vertical tick attacker the wing plate route one fluid counter and direct counter so first you can see there the gagan press uh did very well it's the 4-2-3-1 gagan press which is very popular in football manager and a lot of people are using it a lot of people use that style those instructions and they finished seventh all right that season the points were 64 uh goals goals for 59 and goals against 37 and zero cups now if you pause the video and you're all and you've already looked through all of this yourself you're probably guessing that the gagan press is the best style and the 4231 is the best shape out of all of the presets available um, this isn't saying that it's definite all right tests can go a little bit random they can vary from team to team but with a mid-range west ham team these were the results that we got uh, so you can see with the ticket tacker they also finished seventh all right but they got a few less points obviously each season is different uh, they scored less goals and they conceded more so unfortunately that wouldn't have toppled the gagan press style vertical tiki taka uh, again it wasn't too bad we didn't get sacked at the end of the day which is always a plus when you are testing with mid table to low teams and um it's it's not too bad at the end of the day i've actually seen some really good downloadable tactics that don't work as well as this all right so uh, keep that one in mind uh, so yes the vertical you can see there 44 points 43 goals for and 60 conceded that was the most out of all of the tests uh, then you've got wing play 433 defensive midfielder wide finished ninth again not too bad for a wing play i know uh west ham have i think they've got pretty decent wingers to be fair 53 points 48 goals for and 55 against and then route one direct football ladies and gentlemen the 442 you finish 10th again it's not bad you are finishing above expectations so you can always count it as a plus uh, 47 points 40 goals for and 45 goals against the fluid counter the 4411 13th for them and the direct counter was also 13th pretty similar except the direct counter it was the lowest scoring tactic on there and it's a shame because we all like seeing goals at the end of the day but um yeah anyway as you can see from that whole table the gagan press the 4231 was the best so that is the one we are going to have a look at now just for a little bit more information on that one so here we are this is the tactic we finished seventh we also qualified for europe as well which is insane for a preset tactic guys all right top threes you got antonio there 19 goals actually came third they did very well if we have a look at the competitions uh semi-finals of the carabao cup unfortunately fa cup got knocked out in the third round if we go to the squad let's go to the uh actual 
competitions overall. There we go. So not a lot of players got some good average ratings, only five. Um, but your best player was Antonio with 25 goals in all competitions. Now for West Ham, not too bad, uh, ladies and gents. Uh, biggest goal scorers after Antonio was Bowen with 13 and 10 assists. Biggest creators uh, was Bowen. Everyone else got under on there. If we actually have a look on the team report, um, the general performance, again, for a preset tactic, that's not bad. Don't forget, these are the outer ends of the averages. These are what the best teams are getting on average. So you're exceeding that and conceded per game. That's not too bad, is it? You're conceding less than one with a Gagan Press 4 2 3 1 tactic. Uh, if we go to the full numbers on the stats, look 71 goals. Again, it's not a lot, but it's not bad. And 45 conceded. That's in every competition. And you can already see from the chart the goals that we scored. All right. So it was 59 goals scored, which was the sixth best in the league. All right. So minus the big six, there we are. We're there with them. Uh, and goals conceded, only 37, which was the fourth best. So, yeah, you can't deny that. The presets actually have their usefulness, and um, they did very well. So here it is, and this is the point where you then begin to change it yourself. The mentality, you might change it to a positive, you might change it to attack it, attack it depending on what team you are against. Um, again, with the impossessions and transitions, obviously, you might have really fast forward, so you change the pressing forward to an advanced forward. So on, you make the little tweaks, and over time, you would have created your own tactic that you can be very proud of. Um, so yeah, I hope you found this video interesting. Obviously, I'm Tucker Jobs. If you want more videos from me, uh, if you go in the description, there is a link to my channel and you can see loads of other videos on Football Manager 21. So I hope you go there and I hope you show some support as well. But this is FM Scout. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and please subscribe, like and comment. And if you have tried the presets and if you have slowly adapted a preset into a great tactic, let us know in the comments and uh, i'll see you again soon see you later bye